Hello, my name is Damaris Alvarez. Hi, my name is Chandra Travis. Hi, my name is Jess, and I am a single mother. And I'm a single mother. And I am a single mother. I have two kids, Wyatt, my five-month-old, and Xavier, my five-year-old, who is right over there. I'm 56 years old, and I have one child who's 19. I live in New York City with my daughter, Sydney. Sydney is 19 years old. How did I become a single mother? <laughs> that is, that is the right. Qu that's a good question. I was divorced uh, a few years ago, um, and I was separated from my husband when my daughter was two. I had Sydney when I was in my thirties. At one point, I felt like I was running out of time, so I was open to the idea of being a single parent. When I found out I was pregnant, I was nervous, um, you know, because I was, you know, young. I was sixteen. I was also kind of a little bit happy, you can say, because um, I was with someone, you know, that I had deep feelings for. I was very happy, but I was also, you know, I was also very afraid. I was terrified that uh, the, the one thing that I thought I wanted to do the most, here I was, on the verge of it. I didn't think it would happen um, this way. I thought marriage was for a lifetime. Growing up, I, I would have never thought that I would have been a single parent. I would have never aspired to be a single parent. I come from Panama. We are Catholics. We get married. <laughs> you know, we get married before we have children. But it was the best decision that I ever made. When my husband and I decided to separate, I felt that it would be more beneficial for us to separate than to raise her in a home that had stress in it or a strife. We didn't want her to feel like she was an unloved child, but I believe that delaying that separation was actually, it was impositive and it wasn't healthy. It hasn't been perfect. I think every, every kid probably wants both their parents in their home together with them. But the thing is, what people don't realize, you know, it could be 50 years from now and somebody could just change on you. You, you can never truly know a person. Once I got pregnant, that's when things changed, so. A lot of the media stereotypes about single mother are really uh, based on women of color. People think because you're black, female, you live in Harlem, that you're broken, you're on welfare, that you are careless. Should've aborted your ass, cause you ain't sh I know the day the doctors put you on my goddamn hand, you wasn't a goddamn thing, and you had that smirk on your face. Now smile about that. The media portrays single moms as um, easy. A single mom is lonely, you know, she'll sleep with anybody just to, you know, feel that comfort, that support. And that's just, that's not true because I am perfectly fine. <laughs> that stereotype could go out the window. Whenever they talk about minorities, having children, the first thing that comes up is, is your father in the household? And to be frank with you, um, when we first separated, I didn't tell people that we were because I didn't want the stigma of what people thought was a black single mother to be um, given to my daughter. That is not the view I think that is accurate. We have evolved in a way that women are becoming more self-sufficient. They're the breadwinners and they're confident bread breadwinners and they can do as much or more than the men. Qualified child care providers is actually number one priority because often as mothers we send our kids to the neighbor next door or to some you know little child care center. Not everyone is qualified to take care of your kid. Not everyone is nurturing. You can say the employment I am in now they do give me um, a hard time. I am a breastfeeding mom and there's certain, what's the matter? There's certain Certain things I have to do. I just feel like they make it very difficult, especially like if um, an emergency happens or I can't do a certain activity because I have kids. Taking care of mothers who take care of children is good business. During fall, winter season, um, you know, I go to school full time and then for the rest of the day I'm with my kids and especially I have the weekends. An educated mother is a mother that can also make decisions. There is power in education. Xavier, he, he's stubborn, but in a good way, and I kind of like that about him. Wyatt, even though he's five months, um, he's, uh, for five months, he's very active. Sydney, my son, my daughter, she's been a little stubborn at times. 
I am very proud that she had the courage to sometimes say, no, that's not the direction that I want my life to go to. That's not what I want to do. Children watch more than they speak, but what they watch, they learn. And so be the picture of what you want your child to be.